Uh, in previous lecture, we studied for the paramagnetism. The paramagnetism is driven, uh, is coming from the Hamiltonian. The Hamiltonian is like uh, H0 plus UB L plus GS dot B plus E square over 8M. Here, mass is mass is the electronic mass summation for each i b cross r i square this is a Hamiltonian what we studied uh, mm, at this time when we studied the Van Black paramagnetism uh, from the paramagnetic Mm, paramagnetic property the second term gives rise to the paramagnetic signal and uh, it shows that 1 over t dependence which is described by the Curie law and uh, in this bundle paramagnetism is temperature independent value and uh, more in very low value uh, low value comparing with the uh, conventional paramagnetism and uh, the, the origin of the band block paramagnetism is the second, uh, second order perturbation, second order perturbation of this paramagnetic term. And uh, from the previous uh, study, we, uh, we, we studied that uh, uh, first order perturbation uh, theory gives rise to the paramagnetic signal. But uh, in this case, we, sh we should consider for the second order perturbation theory. And uh, even though uh, in this case, because Van Black paramagnetic signal is very low comparing with the uh, conventional paramagnetic signal, and uh, in, in many cases, the zero magnetic moment case, the Van Black paramagnetic can be observed. Then the, therefore, in this case, then the total angular momentum in zero in ground state, therefore, this paramagnetic signal, the um, second term, the paramagnetic Hamiltonian uh, is zero. It means that uh, ground state expectation value of magnetic moment is like that gj mu b and the ground state for the angular momentum um, is zero. It means that uh, uh, no paramagnetic susceptibility Uh, because the because the absence of paramagnetic signal, then the bundle uh, paramagnetism can be observed in a very small, very small range. And uh, the origin of this bundle paramagnetism, we I say that it is uh, from the second order perturbation theory. Uh, therefore, let's recall the um, second order perturbation theory from quantum mechanics. The second order. Perturbation theory, and uh, from previous eigenvalue problem, we replaced by that uh, Hamiltonian like h uh, zero plus lambda v. Lambda v is that lambda is a parameter, and the v is the, the small potential. In the ground state is n zero plus the eigen state can be expanded as a Taylor series. For example, lambda n one plus lambda square and two like that. The energy eigenvalue has the power series E n zero plus lambda E n one plus lambda square E n two like that. And the eigenvalue eigen state eigen state is n zero plus lambda n one like this. Uh, let's consider for the second order, second order of lambda, you know, lambda square term. In this case, second order lambda square term can be write down as uh, h0 n2, it is a uh, lambda square term, and plus v n1 is the uh, 
lambda square term also and the energy case EN0 N2 and EN1 N1 and EN2 N0 case uh, this is a second order uh, second order eigenvalue problem uh, therefore here we should we, we can think about that the second order energy eigenvalue is that uh, ground state expectation of for the EN2 N0 therefore when we make a uh, expectation uh, 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 bra when we apply the bra in the N0 in uh, in both side and actually the Hamiltonian H0 Hamiltonian is a diagonalized therefore the first term uh, there's here here is N0 for H0 N2 plus N0 V N1 but uh, this term goes to 0 because H0 also diagonalized and the upper diagonal contribution on the H0 is 0 and therefore only uh, there is only one uh, potential uh, potential term and anyway and uh, in previous case we know that the N1 state can be write down as the summation for K which is not equal to N here is the EN0 minus E K zero and K zero V N zero K zero. It is uh, uh, from from the first uh, first order perturbation theory. And therefore, let's consider this N zero and V N one is that. It is a summation for k not equal to n e n zero minus e k zero, and also uh, n zero and k zero, therefore can be applied. Therefore, it is that uh, k zero and v n zero. It is a uh, it is a square. Uh, when you apply to the original star equation because uh, N1 mm, uh, star equation uh, here H0 minus H0 minus EN0 for N2 is like that it's like that the first term uh, here let me see that EN1 minus V N1 plus EN2 N0 yeah, we rewrite the equation star therefore we apply the uh, bra for the L0 state L0 state bra H0 minus EN0 N2 equal to the first term EN1 L0 N1 minus L0 V N1 plus EN2 L0 N0 uh, we apply the L0 state as a bra region then this uh, you know, left hand side left hand side is that uh, is that uh, E <coughs> EL0 minus EN0 N L0 and N2 and uh, 
the right hand side is the same the left move to the in the above okay uh, therefore here and two state and also we know that uh, mm, here's the n1 state and one state is like this in free uh, pro, uh, previous studies and the uh, en one state en one is that uh, here n0 v n0 we know that mm, therefore <clears throat> we can count, we can see that the uh, n two state n two state is uh, is that uh, uh, first term uh, here is the first term is that summation for k is not n summation for l is not n here e uh, And one state, and one state e n zero minus e k zero. It is a n one state, and also k zero v n zero. And uh, here the state is k zero. Uh, and also uh, e n one. E n one is that uh, n zero v n zero, but in here, uh, in we should we, we can consider this n state, not the n state, but the l state. L zero. Let's replace this one. And this is a first term. And second term is that minus. Summation for k is not n. Uh, here, in the, the denominator shows that uh, n zero v n zero uh, n one state n one state and k0 v n0 state over en0 minus ek0 and uh, cube uh, and also Yeah, because we know that uh, this EN2, EN2 is like that, EN, mm, EN2 state. Yeah, therefore, uh, from this, from the above, EN2 can be write down, EN2 also write down that uh, summation for K is not equal to N, and so en0 minus ek0 and k0 v n0 square it is uh, it is it is that en2 state en2 state is like this mm, therefore It is minus. Uh, here is an. Uh, well, because n two state can be uh, this uh, third term. Third term is the n two state and can be combined with the uh, left hand side, and also therefore it is uh, plus two. Minus one half.
yn 0 minus e k0 n square so n0 v k0 and k0 v n0 is a n0 state it is a second order eigen state uh, this is a review for the second order perturbation theory uh, you can review the in quantum mechanics and uh, you can uh, explicitly find that the second order perturbation theory then in from this point of view we can consider for the second order perturbation of the this Hamiltonian and uh, let's rewrite the Hamiltonian let's copy let's copy this Hamiltonian yeah and the second order term is that we uh, we think that the energy energy eigenstate is that minus summation for n en zero minus en minus en minus e zero and also the absolute value ground state we only consider for the ground state and the l plus gs dot b and state q and uh, uh, let's ignore the this diameter term and uh, here because magnetic field mu h uh, here the magnetic susceptibility is that second n over v molar concentration and the second derivative of energy first derivative with magnetic field the first derivative of energy with respect to magnetic field is the magnetic magnetization and the magnetization derivative with magnetic field is the magnetic susceptibility and therefore it is a second derivative with magnetic field and here in this case uh, n over v and also here is a 2 mu b square in summation for n en minus e0 and ground state uh, here we apply magnetic field in the g direction lg plus gsg and uh, here magnetic field with the uh, second derivative with magnetic field in the n state square this is a paramagnetic term and uh, it gives there is no temperature dependence and uh, we call it is a bundle like paramagnetism Uh, when we measure the magnetic susceptibility versus temperature uh, actually magnetic susceptibility uh, follows the Curie law in the paramagnetic materials like the 1 over T dependence we say that the uh, chi is like a C over T but in band black paramagnetism there is no additional contribution and the band black paramagnetism shows that uh, Temperature very small magnetic susceptibility and the temperature insensitive temperature independent it is a band black band black paramagnetism term therefore they'll have the additional contribution of the chi zero and uh, this is a band black paramagnetism term can be considered like this and uh, here uh, the first term is a Curie law from the paramagnetism and uh, chi zero is the bundle paramagnetism.